Did you know that you can now run GK Autopilot workloads in GK Standard Mode? Autopilot Mode is optimized for running most production workloads in an environment that applies recommended settings for security, reliability, performance, and scalability. Until now, Autopilot and Standard were cluster creation level choice for GKE mode of operation that could not be changed later. With Autopilot mode in GKE Standard, now you get all the choices with no need for any of the choosing. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can run Autopilot workload in GK Standard. Here, we're creating a GK Standard Mode cluster in US East 1 region with three nodes. As part of the new release, we're giving the users reminder in the console that says this standard cluster is compatible with Autopilot Compute classes. For a standard cluster to be compatible with Autopilot Compute classes, these are the features that needs to be enabled. These settings are set by default, but if you change the setting out of compatibility, we'll give you a reminder. For example, if we change the target release channel from rapid or regular to stable, we'll see that we give you the warning that this is no longer compatible with autopilot compute classes. We'll switch it back to regular for now. I can also create the cluster using the command line using the G Cloud CLI or the ISC of your choice. Everything else looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and create this cluster. After some time, we can see that our cluster is ready for action. In the Cloud Shell editor, we have our kubectl CLI connected to the cluster. We can see the nodes in our cluster. We have three nodes as we created. We could also see by running kubectl get compute class that we have two compute classes already enabled, autopilot and autopilot spot. These are the compute classes you can set to let GKE know that this workload should run on autopilot mode. You can also create custom compute classes with autopilot enabled. We will see how to create custom compute classes with autopilot mode in a second. Here I have two workloads side by side. They're almost identical except for this one part where we set the node selector to compute class autopilot. This lets GK know that this workload needs to run in the autopilot managed node. We create both of this workload. Let's go back to the console to see these workloads run. We could see that both of our workloads are now running. But if we take a look, we can see the node type for the autopilot workload is autopilot managed, and for the other workload is user managed. If we take a look at our node list with kubectl get nodes, we'll see that new node with GK3 autopilot has been created. This is the autopilot node that GK created to run our workload. We can also confirm this by running kubectl get pod dash o wide, and it'll show us the node this is running on. We could see that hello world autopilot is running on GK3 autopilot node, which is the node created by GK autopilot. We can also create custom compute classes for our use case. All we need to do is to add autopilot enabled true to our spec of our compute class, all the rest of the functionality can remain the same. With autopilot mode in GKE, you can get fully managed GK experience with pod-based pricing for your workload. I hope you'll try this out and let us know how we can improve your GK experience even better.